channel. Uh, this is Kayla from Adventures by Kayla. So today what I'm actually talking about is my health issues going on. So you'll sometimes notice with my channel that sometimes I have to wear glasses after um, for a couple of uh, videos in a row. Um, what happened is after Thanksgiving, I, well right actually before Thanksgiving, I was diagnosed with a very rare disease called myopic choroidal neovascularization. So what that actually is doing is actually causing some fluid from behind my retina to leak to the front of my eye and it causes like an infection. This infection is like antibiotic resistant, you can't do anything with it. So with that, um, it's causing me to actually lose my vision. And for a matter of three days, I went from seeing fine to not be able to even see the first line on an eye chart. Um, so it's very bad. Um, there's no cure. The only treatment is injections once a, once a month in the eye, probably for the rest of my life. And I'm only 30, and so that looks really grim. Um, so there's always hope, and right now I am praying for a miracle from Jesus, and I know he could do it. Um, so if you do pray, and I um, really would hope you would, um, if you would pray for my healing, I definitely would, rec I would really, really appreciate it um, because with the doctors, I mean, they were doing everything they can, but it still is looking about a 30% chance of me keeping my vision until, you know, the, the injections stop. So I'm not looking at good odds, um, and the injections are quite painful, as you could imagine. Um, and that's typically the plan for people with macular degeneration, um, but my my process is different a little bit, but I am still getting an injection just like they are. So typically this happens for people around 60, 70 years old, not this early. So this is looking like a very long-term situation for me. Again, that was called myopic choroidal neovascularization. If you know somebody that has this disease, please have them reach out to me um, on the comments below. Um, or if you know anybody who's going through something like this. Yeah, I'd love to have some comments and some positive feedback um, because it's been really hard for me. Um, and I've been very bitter about why is this happening, but now I've just tried to come to peace with it, that this is just the hand I've been dealt. Um, there, it's not genetic, it's not environmental, it just is something that happens. Um, so I've been praying for healing, and I totally believe that one time when I go to the actual um, the eye doctor, they're going to do my scan, and I'm going to be completely healed. I know that can happen, and I know that if it's God's will, He will make it happen. So I'm praying for it, and the more people that pray for it, I think God just hears that even more. Um, and not that we can sway God, but He can definitely hear our prayers, and He can definitely help me through this. And there's got to be a reason why He wants me to go through this. So maybe the reason is to share it all with you, um, and that maybe someone out there is actually going through this and needs someone to talk to, or needs someone to, you know, know that it's going to be okay. Um, that. I, you know, I've still got one good eye, and it could definitely be worse, you know? So, um, I know that God's good, even when things are bad. God is still good, and still He blesses us unconditionally. So, I'm just looking for what He's going to do, and when He heals me, I just can't wait to shout it from the rooftops, um, that he, how He has healed me. And I hope that would just reach everyone, and hope that makes a difference. Um, so, if you do not know who Jesus is, and would like to know more, please comment down below. Um, I, I definitely believe that... And, you know, God died on the cross for our sins, and then he um, rose again on the third day. And just by believing in him and admitting you're a sinner and changing your ways, he will immediately take you in and give you the peace. Um, and it's just amazing how much of a difference he can have in your life. Um, so if you'd like to know more, please comment down below or feel free, you know, just to Google the story of Jesus. I mean... It, it's all out there. It's been out there for thousands of years at this point, um, and it's just everything that it, he, he's just everything to me, um, and he has just made my life so amazing. I've had so many blessings, um, and he's helped me through so many things, um, and he's just, you know, the best friend you can have, and you just, just a walk with him every day and in prayer, and he will just make your life be able to go through the hard times and the good, and right now I'm going through a hard time, um, and so whenever you're going through a hard time, if you ask your friends to pray for you and ask and reach out for other people to pray for you, um, just it it just gives you a, a great sense of peace and you feel the love outpouring from not only God but all your friends as well. So thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, please comment down below. Um, I know I did that in a very short time period, so um, I'm sure I've missed something for sure. Uh, but thank you for watching. Remember to be adventurous and God bless. Bye.